Hey, so in today's video, I'm going to be doing the second installment in my makeup I want but I'm not going to buy. Yes, I'm wearing my wig today. Yes, I look a bit like an e-girl today. I got a bit carried away, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> if you haven't seen the first video, I will link it down below. But basically, I just talk about makeup products that I really want to get but I'm not actually gonna buy them. So, without further ado, let's get started. I have a list on my phone. I'm gonna move over here so I can put the images. Most of these are eyeshadow palettes, as per usual, but I wanna start off with the non-eyeshadow palettes. First thing being the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer. Now, we all know, we all know this is my baby right here. This, my baby. But the reason why I haven't bought the concealer is because, <sighs> I hear mixed reviews about the concealer. A lot of people say it's quite drying on the under eye and I'm very, very, very picky with concealer. I'm like a concealer connoisseur at this point. So as soon as I hear that a concealer can look dry underneath the eyes and that's where I mainly put concealer, that already sends alarm bells ringing in my head. I prefer a hydrating concealer underneath the eyes, which is ironic because I have oily skin, but I find the hydrating concealers work better or more creamy concealers, like the Jouer one. That's my favorite concealer of all time. I've got a couple of blush things to talk about. So the first one being a Becca blushes, just any of their blushes that come in like this kind of packaging, this little flying saucer packaging. I have a bronzer from Becca. The reason why I haven't bought these blushes before is that they look beautiful. They look so pretty on other people's skin tones but I feel like none of the shades really cool to me. They're really expensive and I just keep looking at them and I just think, man, they are so pretty, but I don't think I'll ever like jump the gun and actually get it. Now the next blush item, this is actually a blush palette and if you know me, you know that I do not like blush palettes. I don't like face palettes. I do not like that shit. Unless it's a duo, I do not want it. A duo or a single, that's all I can handle. Both of these blush palettes are by Likely Makeup, which is It's Likely Makeup's makeup brand. She's an Instagram girl. I think she does YouTube, but I love her looks. I follow her on Instagram. She is beautiful. Like she is, ugh, oh, incredible. She has two blush palettes. The most recent one she came out with is the Fairy Blush Palette. I like these shades. I really do, but I don't think I'm going to use them realistically. I probably, I probably would in more editorial type looks because I'm getting more into experimenting with blush placements and that kind of thing. I mean, today, I don't think you can tell on camera, but I've got blush like all in this area right here and like basically all over my face. I don't think I'd use it as much as I think I would. Plus, I do have my Sugar Pill Pro palette and I have the two shades. Like I have this like peachy shade. However, the blush palette that I've been actually eyeing up for quite a while is the Clown bl Blush Palette. Can't speak. The actual packaging scares the shit out of me. If you know me, you know that I have a pretty big phobia of clowns. Like that's like one of the biggest things I'm terrified of. They cause me mad anxiety. And even though this is a drawing of a clown and it's not like an actual clown clown, it still freaks me the fuck out. I know that's really like kind of petty, but that's just another one reason why I can't own this in my collection. I just get like a bit of anxiety opening my drawer. But the shades in here are so pretty. Like the classic, I think it's got like pink, red, orange, yellow. I've got my sugar pill eyeshadows and I think that's all I really need. I do use these as blushes as well, especially uh, Butter Cupcake. I use that as a blush a lot and Love Plus. So I realistically have these shades in my collection, just not as a blush. I actually have a couple of highlighters to talk about as well. So the first one are the Nabla Skin Glazing Highlighters. Oh my god, I want these so badly. Now they do have two more blush shades and I do want to get the shade Truth, which is like the lighter of the pinks, and I do want to get one of like the regular highlight shades. But we all know, I'm on a low, I'm on a no buy for highlighters for 2020. I, I can't buy any highlighters this year. I've got 10 highlighters, that's a lot. Maybe if I pan a couple, I will pick one of these up, but they look so beautiful on other people and in the pan, ooh, they look stunning. But I can't, I, I cannot do that to myself. I can't break my no buy. The next highlighter product is the Pixi Glowy Gossamer Duo. They do have two shades of this, which is pretty shitty. Pixi come out with more shades, God damn it. And I only hear amazing things from this product. Like people love this stuff. Like I know people have hit pan and like completely finished up the Glowy Gossamer Duo. I don't know why it's so mesmerizing. I think because so many people talk about it, I'm just like, I want to know what's, I want to be part of the group. <laughs> Include me. But again, it's a standard highlighter. It's standard highlighter colors. I don't need it in my collection. 
I mean, at least not now. Maybe if I finish up highlighters, but let's be real, that's not gonna happen anytime soon. So listen, okay, I trashed on this palette on my Instagram stories. I trashed it. I trashed on it. I never actually say the name of the palette in the video, but it's the ABH Jackie Aina palette because I'm a dumb bitch and I forget that I'm actually filming a video and I need to describe what the product is. The snake skin, it's not real snake skin, but it's like reptile kind of feeling type thing. I hate that. I, I think animal skin is so ugly. I think that is the ugliest looking thing. Bitch disgusting. My aunt has this palette and I remember looking at it when I went over and it's really pretty in real life. Like the actual eyeshadows, they are beautiful, especially if you have a deeper skin tone like my cousin and my aunt. Like the depth is so beautiful, the shimmers, like I remember swatching the shimmers and being like, Anastasia did that. Jackie Ina did that. And I just feel like even though I now think I have changed my mind about the palette and I think it is really pretty, I don't think I would get that much use out of it in my collection. Now the next one is the Nabla Dreamy 2 Mystic Palette. You know how much I love Nabla. You know how much I love Nabla. They're one of my favorite brands of all time. The absolute love of my life. And I have some singles from Nabla and I just love their eyeshadow formula, especially their mattes. I really like their matte formula. I find that with most Nabla palettes they've come out with, I try and convince myself that I want it because of how much I love the soul blooming and the single shadows. I try and convince myself because I just want to own more from Nabla and I want to own more of their eyeshadows but none of their eyeshadows have really spoken to me except for the cutie palette Coral. This one it's neutral but it's dark neutrals and here's the thing, I don't even wear dark eyeshadow that often. I find that because I wear glasses and my eyes are dark and my hair is dark and my eyebrows are dark, I just think it gets lost in the mix whenever I do dark looks. I really want to love this. Like, I really want it and I want to love it, but I really don't love it that much. And a lot of Nabla's palettes, I like them, but not enough to buy them. I think if they came out with, like, a Soul Blooming 2, like a sister palette to the Soul Blooming, I would break my no buy for that. I would break my no buy for that. <laughs> Another indie brand, this is by September Rose and this is their Brew palette. Now this is a neutral palette, but like, this is one of those neutral palettes that gives me the double take. Like I look at it and I just think that is beautiful. Like the color layout is pretty. The packaging like on the front is so pretty. The shades inside, for being a neutral palette, this is like a really, really nice neutral palette. Like this is something that I want. <laughs> And I'm not a neutral person, I rarely wear neutrals, but this is like, I look at this and I just lost over it. I think September Rose is based in the UK, if I'm not mistaken, so I think shipping wouldn't even be that expensive to get to me if I were to pick it up. But I just feel like I don't use neutrals that often, and I have a couple of neutral palettes that I use, so I don't see the need to buy a full palette just to get these same shades that I have. And the last palette that I'm going to be talking about and the last product I'm going to be talking about, I didn't like this again when I first saw it. It's the Colourpop and Kathleen Lights So Jaded palette. Now we know that Kathleen Lights is my mother. She is my mum. She doesn't know that yet, but I love Kathleen Lights. She's one of the few bigger beauty YouTubers that I constantly watch, that I have like notifications turned on for. Like I love her so much and I have a lot of her Colourpop collabs and I know a lot of people are annoyed that she collabs with Colourpop a lot but like I love her. The shades in this are really pretty. It does have two pressed glitters which I'm not a big fan of because you know they're not eye safe. I do like the colour selection. This is a big palette but it does have a nice variant of colours. It's not like Morphe where they have 20,000 shades of brown. It's got a good variety of shades and I think people who like both colourful eyeshadow looks and neutral eyeshadows will like this palette. The reason why I don't want to buy it, even though I want it so badly, because not only because it's Kathleen Lights, but I just I just like the colours, okay? The colours are pretty, the packaging's pretty, it looks cute and I hear really great reviews about it. We know how I feel about big palettes. I despise, I despise big palettes. Oh my god, I do not like big palettes. There's too much, it won't be able to fit in my drawers. It's like a fucking plate. It's like a plate, basically. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what products you want but you're not going to buy. Again, if you haven't seen my first video in this little mini series I'm doing, 
link in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.